Ever wondered how different software components talk to each other and work together? Well, that's where integration testing steps in. This process is like a symphony conductor, ensuring all the individual elements of a software system or units harmonize and perform seamlessly as a group. It's a level of software testing that takes these discrete units, combines them, and then tests them collectively. Now you might be wondering, why is this important? Imagine a jigsaw puzzle. Each piece or unit may be perfect on its own, but the real magic happens when they all fit together to form a complete picture. Similarly, while individual software components may function flawlessly in isolation, it's essential they integrate well to deliver a cohesive user experience. Integration testing plays a critical role in identifying interface issues between these modules, ensuring the conversation between them is smooth. So, in a nutshell, integration testing is like a translator ensuring that all software components are communicating effectively. Now that we know what integration testing is, how do we actually carry it out? Well, it's more of a journey than a destination. It begins with the creation of test data. Think of these as ingredients for a recipe. You're going to need a variety of data to make sure your system can handle different scenarios and edge cases. You're not just looking for the good stuff, you need some bad apples in there too, to see how the system behaves when things go wrong. Next, we dive into the execution of test cases. This is where the rubber meets the road. Your test cases are like a roadmap, guiding you through the different functions and features of your software. You're looking to see how these different components interact and whether they play nicely together. Now comes the moment of truth the comparison of actual and expected results. This is where you find out if your software is behaving as it should. Don't be disheartened if things don't go as planned. That's the beauty of testing. It gives you the chance to fix things before they reach the end user. Finally, we have the reporting of defects. This is your opportunity to communicate what you've found to the rest of the team. Be clear, be concise, and most importantly, be constructive. Remember, the key to successful integration testing is a well-planned and systematic approach. Now, it's your turn to wear the tester's hat. Don't be intimidated. Instead, consider this as an exciting opportunity to delve into the world of integration testing. Start small. Maybe a simple project like a calculator or a basic web application. Remember, the idea is to understand the process, not to build complex systems. As you embark on this journey, here are a few tips to guide you. First, understand the system's architecture. This will help you identify the components that need to be tested. Second, always document your test cases. This can be a lifesaver when you're dealing with a multitude of components. Third, don't forget about edge cases. They can often reveal the most unexpected bugs. Lastly, embrace failure. Bugs aren't your enemy. They're your guide to creating better software. Testing might seem daunting at first, but with practice, it becomes second nature. So don't hesitate to get your hands dirty. To make integration testing easier, there are several tools at your disposal. Let's delve into some of the popular ones that you may find useful in your software development journey. First off, we have Junit. This is a simple open source framework that helps you write repeatable tests in the Java programming environment. It's primarily used for unit testing, but it's also handy for integration testing. Junit provides assertions for testing expected results and test runners for running tests. Next up, there's TestNG. Standing for testing next generation, TestNG is inspired by Junit, but introduces some new functionalities that make it more powerful and easier to use. It's designed to cover all categories of tests, including unit, functional, and integration tests. One of its unique features is its flexibility in test configuration. Lastly, we have Mokito. It's a mocking framework that you can use to write simple and clean tests. Mokito lets you create, verify, and stub mocks, which are essential in creating isolated tests. It's a favorite in integration testing because it allows you to simulate interactions between software components. These are just a few examples of the tools available for integration testing. Each one has its strengths and is suited to different scenarios, but they all share a common goal, to make your testing process more efficient and accurate. With the right tools and understanding, integration testing becomes a breeze. So go ahead and explore these tools and let the testing begin.